start having considered the aforesaid submissions raised what we find is that so far as the issue relating to the armed forces tribunal is concerned the same was answered vis-a-vis -vis the exercise of authority by the high court under article 226 of the constitution of india whereas in the present case the exercise of authority by a learned single judge in a company petition is in the discharge of statutory powers conferred under the provisions of the Companies Act 1956. Thus, this is not a case arising out of a writ petition under Article 226 of the Constitution of India. Nonetheless, the issue is that the power which is being exercised by the learned company judge is as a judge of the High Court and not of any inferior tribunal. Consequently, to that extent, we are of the opinion that once the power is being exercised by a learned single judge of the High Court in exercise of the authority conferred under the Companies Act 1956 in a company petition of 2013, an order passed therein cannot be subjected to appeal before a tribunal created under the 2013 Act. Even otherwise, the High Court has a supervisory jurisdiction under Article 227 of the Constitution of India. Para. Applying the principles thereof, the question of conferring the authority of appeal on a subordinate tribunal would be contrary to this constitutional scheme. The enforcement of Section 303 with effect from 15-12-2016 would not repeal the right or abrogate the right of a person to file an appeal against the order of a learned single judge in a company petition for which this court continues to have jurisdiction to decide the matter as indicated above and in the present context, keeping in view the impact of the legal provisions pointed out here in above. The company appellate tribunal has not been conferred with any such authority specifically as an alternative granting a right of appeal as against an order of a learned single judge passed in a company petition as is presently involved. In the absence of any such specific conferment of power on the company appellate tribunal, the argument of Sri Set that the powers statutorily granted under Section 483 of the Companies Act would stand impliedly revealed. The argument of Sri Set that the powers statutorily granted under Section 483 of the Companies Act would stand impliedly revealed cannot be repealed. The doctrine of implied repeal, therefore, will have no application in view of the aforesaid background of the legislation as no such express intention can be gathered from the same. There is yet another reason for holding that the right of appeal is available to the appellant and that is based on the principles that have been deduced as discussed in the latest case of Messrs. Videocon International Limited vs. SEBI within bracket 2015 4SCC 33 where a right of appeal has been understood to be a substantive right and not a mere procedural right so as to affect its applicability upon any amendment 
more so when the lease in the present case had been instituted earlier. Para. The right of appeal under section 483 of the Companies Act was therefore available on the date of the institution of the company petition itself giving rise to this appeal. The forum of appeal as provided under section 483 of the Companies Act would not stand altered as no such provision in such a situation is contemplated so as to transfer the right of appeal before the company appellate tribunal. Moreover, in the absence of any such provision denuding this court of its power to hear an appeal against an order passed by the land company judge in the aforesaid background, we are of the opinion that the appeal is maintainable and we accordingly hold so. Having said so, coming to the merits of the case, what we find is that the attempt made on all previous occasions for seeking an injunction against the appellant has already witnessed three stages of the proceedings. Stop.